All right, I'm gonna get started. So today we are gonna talk about PhotoFi, but we're gonna to have to kind of change it a little. So PhotoFi is an app on your phone that is great for your um, social media content. So if you go into Remax, it talks a little bit about, you know, what PhotoFi is, it is branded with Remax. Um, but even if I get started here, you have to have the app and we can't put the app on the computer. I had it all planned, I worked it out today. I was going to mirror it onto the computer, but then Mark informed me that I'll be mirroring it onto a TV screen, not the computer. So you guys would not be able to see it. So I created another quick one and just did screenshots along the way. And that is gonna be what I share with you. So let's- Mary, you remember we did this down at the- uh, Yeah, so I was telling Chris this morning. Um, so you, run, you, you get the registration through the Mac Center, but the mobile app, um, it, in Brent, they've added so much more. I'm sure Chris will go through there. Yeah, but, it's um, fun though. It's, it's it just kind of a point and click thing, and then it looks really good, like you were really good in at. In a convenience uh, from your phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Wait. you don't have to. Oh, sorry. I was going to say I do have it on my phone, but I didn't go through Mac Center. So to register and get the four dollars a month, I need to do that. Yeah. Um, okay. It's the 48 a year thing through there. So you're going to get that discounted. Nice. Feature. So as soon as you log in, this is the very first screen. And I'm doing a photo and collage. So this is the one I chose. And so the next screen on my phone looks like this. So here's your Remax material. All, if I clicked on this, would blend everything underneath the Remax, but also my albums, which is all the pictures in your phone. Um, and then they have stock, and I'm gonna kind of go through a couple different ones. So here's the stock. They have tons in here. I just did a quick screenshot of an example. They have holidays. They have the Remax brand holidays, the Remax collection. So a lot of the photos you'll see in your Mac Center underneath the Remax collection are in here as well. That's your luxury homes? Yes, yes. Our Remax commercial, here's some ideas, some pictures. Again, same pictures that are gonna be in your Mac Center. If you were gonna be using like Megaphone or any of those, um, the old design center, which now is all part of your Bougie marketing, same photos. So there's some global and then just some stock interior pictures, stock exterior events. So birthdays, uh, baby being born, wanting to wish one of your clients, you know, they just got married and congratulations. And then they also have an award center. So if you have reached one of these, um, they have that as well. So this is just the basic overview. I'm going to actually now go into, one second. I created a, and I just posted it on our Remax Gold website. So you guys would be able to see it there. It took me two minutes to do. So I'm going to go back to sharing my screen now. Maybe if it'll let me. Let's go. Right. We went through this earlier. I, on my computer, I couldn't find the folder. You know, when you click the thing, it created the yes. folder. Then all of a sudden, it just appeared. Now we're going to do it again. There we go. So I went into the app and I went into the um, events and I went to the, um, and I'm going to choose to do a birthday one. But there it goes. So I chose the birthday and it immediately looks like this. So I'm gonna work on the artwork and I'm going to add text and overlays. So once I clicked on that, 
it took me to here. So the text I chose just said, happy birthday, Chrissy Stowe. It was her birthday just the other day. And then it gives you options once you do this of your fonts. So I chose, I wanted like, you know, more of a cursive look. So I chose this one, but there are a lot of fonts you can choose from. And as you click, it'll change the font. The next thing I did was choose the color. And as you choose each one of these colors, it gives you those colors in that realm. So I chose to do blue. Then the next one I did underneath the format was I took this to a bigger font. I centered it. And you can either center it by choosing like all left, right, middle, or you can come down here and use these arrows. So if you don't want it to be exactly centered, you need it to be, you know, to the left a little more, these arrows will help you align it. Then if you wanted to add your logo, you would just click add logo. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is in your phone as an image. So if you need help with that, we can send it to you and then you'll just save it in your images. And then after I did that, the next thing I chose was the sticker button and they have pages of stickers. And, and really, uh, Kristen, you just yeah. have a point there. Everybody should get their logo, should have a logo, their own logo, and you'd want to save it in here for whatever you were going to send out on your social media stuff. You should have your logo on everything. Yes. So, and you can also add it as a sticker as well. So it can be as a sticker or whenever you go into your logos, you can upload it there. I would suggest you save it in as many places as possible because... Yeah. That just makes it even, like I said, this is a one click, really easy. You're just choosing and moving to the next screen. If your logo is already saved, it'll save you time if you have it in more places. So I chose balloons. And then the next one was borders. So I just chose a border, put a white one around it. So at the, each of these screens, let me go back to one of them that shows. Maybe none of them are gonna show. Okay, um, up in the top right corner, there's a check mark. So as I added a border, as I added balloons, as I added text, I just hit the check mark and it saves it. And as you keep moving along, it'll save the last thing you did. So if I chose the red border and didn't want red on red, um, as long as I hit the back arrow, it doesn't save. If you hit the check mark, it saves. It's not a big deal because you can go in and change it just by clicking on the border looks again, and then choosing a different one. So here it is, I hit the check mark, and then another check mark pops up. So I double clicked it when I did, it saved it as I was complete. And it took me to this screen. I could save it just in my um, photo five photos, or now this is where I can send it to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, anything that is linked to the account. Now, what was really great was when I clicked Facebook and went to my personal page, but then it says, are you wanting to share this on one of your managed pages? So I was able to choose for it to go when I did it to the Remax Gold um, page. So if this is something you guys have, you know, your business page and your personal, you can save it and click it to your Facebook and post to Facebook and then come back, do it again and do it to your page or share it from one to the other. But as soon as I clicked Facebook, I clicked post to Facebook next. It says, congratulations, your photo has been shared. And then I went into Facebook and this is what it looks like. So, I mean, that's just a simple way if you're gonna do it for your clients. I was doing it for one of our agents just so you guys would have that. So the great thing is if you go back to here, I chose an event. Um, one of the other things is there was- um, Well, she can use your own picture. Yes, that's phone. what I was gonna say. So I was underneath the stock photos. There is a place where you can go to um, Google Drive or you can do an album on your phone. So I know some people keep their photos for their listings in a Google Drive. If you link it, then you would be able to go into your listing photos that way. Um, <coughs> or if you just save that picture in your albums, you can go in and choose that photo. So 
if you have a coming soon listing and you're going to take that picture while you're, you know, at the photo shoot on your phone, just an easy one, you guys could. Get and, it you know, it's, it, and it looks really cool. We, that's the thing that Mary, we played around with when we were down at the Remax thing and they, we were taking photos out of our pictures, pictures in our phone. And you can do all these things to that photo and then post that wherever you want. So whether it's something fun that you're, you've got that has nothing to do with your listing or, or an open house or whatever, maybe it's just something that's a fun photo that you want to make look really cool. You can do all that stuff to it, just like you did, Kristen, mm -hmm. with your own photo. And it looks really professional because uh, it adds all those elements to it. And, and if you have tips and stuff, obviously yeah. you can do all the stuff from your computer as well, but there's, there's stuff that you just want to blast out and you can do it from your phone in five minutes. You, you probably want to make sure you put it in there and you can. So I don't know if you guys have seen lately, but in our gold agents group, I have posted a couple different pictures. So at Easter, one of them said, have your peeps call my peeps. Um, they made that out of photo buy. They found the Easter one. They added the verbiage. Um, I know there were some others. I'm trying to look at them right now. But they, you know, I'm in a Remax group on Facebook that um, shares ideas. But they do a lot of their holiday stuff right out of here because you could just pull a picture off google you could have a picture you already have saved and um like the this or that that i did with the eggs benedict or omelet for happy national brunch month they created that because there's blank backgrounds underneath the gold that are just red or blue and you can create from scratch you can add your own photos in um so there's a lot you can do, and then it just it's so easy to click and go straight to your Facebook, your Instagram, Pinterest, whatever you have linked to your photo file. And I will tell you when I linked photo file to the Facebook page, it was as simple as do you want to link to? And because it, it found it on my phone, I said yes. It asked if I had authorization. I said yes. It spun for a second. And it was linked. So um, it's, it's not like it's going to take a lot of process. And you guys could create a couple of these. So if you, you know, set aside, I know Jose and Frank have both really been talking about managing time. But if you guys did on Monday an hour, you guys could knock out the whole week's work and have them saved in there. So all you do Tuesday was go in, click the one you wanted and put it on all your social media sites. And I really like this one here with the champagne glasses that, you know, that could be many different things. Um, but like if you're going to do a home anniversary or if you could find like a picture of keys or go back to find the picture of, you know, when they bought the house and sharing it again. It's just something easy. Again, another touch for your clients. You guys have any questions? That's not fun. Kristen, they all have the option to sign in with business or individual. Yes. 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 Can we? So we should Remax. Um, if you go to PhotoFi, there. Um, so the app is. It looks like a peach with the white key through it, and when you go to log in, it'll say log in as business or log in as individual. Business means you're linking Remax. Um, I was doing individual and I kept telling Mary that I wasn't seeing all the Remax logos, but the second I went in and logged in as a business underneath Mary, all of a sudden I had all the Remax logos. So yes, make sure you're logging in as a business. Um, that way it, uh, links you with Remax. And, and if you need the Remax gold, sorry, Brett, go gold logos, let us know. Staff can send you, all, we'll send them all to you. That way you have them black and white color and the different formats. So that way you would have it to save in there. I was just going to say that, you know, you guys can do like fun stuff too. Like if you're having 
you know, let's say that you just close the deal and you've got your clients over at their house and you take a funny picture of them flipping glasses or they're letting the dog run in the backyard or whatever. And, and it's a fun picture that you can create that all this stuff around that and post that and maybe even post a testimonial from them. But it this these things that you can do with this are so much better than just a picture. Yes. It's, it just, just kind of enhances everything. And, just, and don't forget if you're um, doing properties, you know, advertising properties, you need to have your office info and a phone number, an office phone number on there in your information, your profile, which should already have that, but just an FYI. Yeah, well, hopefully when you've got your your um, logo that it's it's attaching your name and your phone number and all that so that it's all goes as one. But if you were if you were doing happy birthdays and whatever, you could you could make that as unique as you wanted to do it. But if you get to a, a advertisement for a property advertisement, you just got to make sure you're following the, the guidelines as well. Sometimes we get really creative and we forget the little. Jamie, have you messed around any with Spotify? Sorry, I was muted. Oh. <laughs> I think you're okay now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, no. No. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a pretty firm no. <laughs> um, Sean, you have, haven't you? Are you yeah, I used it for like listings and um, to do like sold or under contract or thing like that. It's really, although I've noticed now that they've changed it, um, I like the scheduler thing. Um, and there's a lot, just looking at it today, there's a lot more stuff in it than there has been, so. I think that um, one of the things they were talking about when we were in Vegas is that they're trying to, to dump more content. I, I think you're going to see that all the time that they'll be adding more, uh, you know, stickers, more, all kinds of things mm. that will be for social media. Yeah, it's really easy to use. And I, you know, I, I have it set. So when I post it to Instagram, I automatically post it to my Facebook. So it does it dual, dual duty. So you only have to post it once really. Which makes it Sean, when you Sean, when you did your stuff for your listing or whatever you did, what what did what did you do? Like what what did you make it look like? Um I go to um photo template and then yeah. use it. There's like different templates. Um and um then you just put a picture of the house in there. But then I was taking it to. Is the one that you did for Valentine's Day, is this one that you did a photo by? Yeah. 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 So that's good. You just got See? your little yeah. avatar. <laughs> You're quicker at pulling stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Technology. That's Hold on. Real quick. <laughs> And then I, well, before I was also using uh, Fonto to add words, but now it looks like Photify has yeah, things that, so you can add that words. That layover easier. that you can do in there is nice. Yeah. Because it looks like they've updated uh, Photify quite a bit on the last, well, I guess since. They, I've noticed too that they put some more um, for your. Uh, Headshots if you want uh, framed for your picture. They added, uh, Kristen, am I going to mess you up if I log in? Oh, go ahead. They um, have the backdrops, the different photo backdrops and Zoom backgrounds. And, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of stuff they've added on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I use a lot of the photo backdrops because you can just pop a picture of the house that you're listing or whatever in and all the words around it, you can click on them and change. Yeah, and it's so fast. Can, yeah, and you can just totally customize it to whatever, because some of them, 
just don't make sense for our market sometimes or right. um so i just changed the words because you can click on almost all the words and change them to whatever you want it to be yeah it's a real nice uh design i mean it's easy to manipulate in there well and it's, it's so easy just to post it to instagram and facebook and all your social media rather than going on the computer making something and saving it and then doing all that jazz uh, sean are you, are you good are you doing most of that when you're on your phone? Yeah. Yeah. You have under the infographics, under the business templates, you have all of the infographics. So, so um, there's so much about inspections, you know, uh, your megaphones in here. Everything is in the photo file that you can create a quick uh, marketing. Uh, there's also Spanish that converts over, but you have Zoom backgrounds, your Facebook profile frames. They've, they've been adding some of those that are in there now. But it's nice. And you can always call us. We can do like a one on one since I can't share my phone on the screen. We could always come in, you know meet up with one of us, Jamie, myself, help you, you know, walk through it, play with it. Um, what else, what we'd like to do is like pick out the things in Mac Center that maybe you don't understand. And, um, you know, Mac Center has tons of uh, video webinars, everything else to, to walk through. Um, and maybe once you do that, you want to sit and we do a hands on with it, you know, we're, we're really open to like, let's dig in and, you know, share what we know how to do best, right? So take the work out for everybody else, if you could just kind of, like Kristen was showing your thing, Sean, if people just need sometimes a little tip or a creative idea, and then you can run with it. Maybe so there's yeah. a bunch of training through Remax on, on the main calendar. Yes. Does anybody ever get into the Remax University and look at the material that's out there? Used to. There is so much. I know it's almost kind of overwhelming, but um you're going to take something away from it if you go in there and do it there they have a lot of uh you, you know certification obviously that you can if that's what your goal is um if you're looking in different areas of business you know new construction whatever it is but there is so much more out there than you even could possibly realize you just have to get in there and dig through it it's almost you know like there's so much in there it's almost overkill but if you just one time a week you went in there and dug out something you, where you do i go for that mary when you when you go into the max center mm -hmm. here i have it I'll show you you. okay yeah can you pull it up kristen i'm gonna so if you're in the Mac Center and you go to Apps and Tools, and then Remax University is. Believe it or not, it was on that first page because it's on the top. Well, if yeah. you start there showing it. Is. There it is. Keep going. Here. Here. No, one more. Learning and education. If you looked at the top, it breaks it out in categories as well. And you know, really what we can do in these is like just pick one each time something new and go through it. But um, if you look at the, uh, up there on your right, Kristen, the, was that the technology? Which one were you at, over here? Hold on, let me move. Yep, right there. If you click on that, It'll walk you through um, content, 
Uh, but if you look at the course catalog up there in the toolbar, I mean, you could get lost in this thing, but they have a lot of content. Stop right there. See the Remax Hustle? Yeah. You, you know, so you're going to just click on it. It's going to tell you if it's a free or if it's a paid course. Um, and if you look at the other marketing portal, the tech leveraging leveraging Photofy right there. That's kind of what we were talking about today. Um, a little more in depth so you can come back and Very nice, I'll go check that out. Is there anything specifically you guys can think of that you want us to target? Like whether it's campaigns or, you know, I, I think that doing a, a, a hands-on together really just kind of makes it stick, right? then we we'll talk about all these things, but we know you're in an un, inundated with information coming at you from all different directions and, you know, trying to make it applicable and easy to use. I'm just going through the university stuff and they've added so much from when I started before, from when I started last year, there's so much new stuff in here. It's John, did you do the take flight uh, I, program in the Mac Center? I think so. I kind of did like the first start realtor stuff. Yeah, kind of a walkthrough. It's almost kind of like you almost need to come back and look at some of the stuff again, right? Yeah, because it's it's changed a lot. So it's, yeah, and it looks more informative than it was before, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on my in my calendar to do at least one of these. Look through this and start scheduling some stuff to look at. And... Did we lose Kristen? I'm here still. Can you go back to that um, university one more time? Yes. Let me go um, back to the main yeah, screen the back button again. I was just gonna show them a. a like scroll through this a little bit slower. Sure. Uh, back up to the university, some of the courses. It'll save your courses as you go. So back to the welcome to the university. There you go. Over here. Yep. Just kind of scroll through some of these. And you, we may be seeing on the little bit different view than what they are. But that right. Remax Hustle, is everybody using the Remax Hustle? Is anybody using the Remax Hustle? I think Joe did. So it's got the one, it has the commercials and stuff in it, right? Yeah. yeah. Can you click Sorry, on that? Not, but I will. Um, can you go back to the app for the Remax Hustle? Sure. Just walk them through one real quick. Remax Hustle. Sorry, my phone won't stop ringing. <laughs> That's a good problem. A good thing. <laughs> so, what, what were you asking me? Did you do a Remax Hustle video? Yeah. I, yeah, I've done I've done one hustle and then I've I put all the videos that I'm shooting, I I edit them through hustle. So and it's easy to use, right? Oh yeah. Well, I had to kind of figure out how to add different segments of a video. Just adding one video and then editing it is easy, but if you have three segments and you want to put them together and then edit it, it's a little trickier. But yeah, it was pretty simple. 
Did you hear that? Joe's our pro now. If anybody has a three, more than one segment. Oh, no, Colorado, Colorado taught me how to do that one. Talk about to stitch them together. Yeah. Was that you have to load part? them a specific way and then you can edit them and play with them and move them around and then cut pieces out and segments out if you want. Sound like a pro. No. <laughs> they had to really help me a lot in Denver. So. Because they couldn't get it to work Somebody either. Like well, you know, when they first created this show, it really wasn't probably, they had probably thought that far ahead about how to stitch, you know, it was just a simplistic create your own commercial kind mm -hmm. of thing with, you know, but that's probably going to open the door. I think what we're going to see is a lot of technology changes going forward from here on out because it's come so far in such a short time. Well, if you remember, Mary, actually the Remax hustle started with stickers. Yes. And, and then it went to video. And then they and we all thought, wow, look videos. at that. Yeah, right. It, it's a full video editor. Um, it, it will allow you to do anything. The only limitation I don't like is the three minutes. It will only let you do a three minute video. So that's where it cuts you off. Well, that's something we need to put on our wish list with them. That was not. I was just going to show you one. Look, can you hit the listing ad? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. But can you hit the buy in? So they put a sticker on there. So basically they're all pre-made. You just, you just put yourself in it. And that's, I think it's, if we were, um, Joe did that. Um, but mark it up. Was it about, about a month ago, no, maybe? Should, they should be the professional on the market updates, right? Huh? It would be perfect for market updates. Because mm -hmm. it's all prepackaged and it look really, you know, all you have to do is put the most recent market information in there. Because that's the question everybody's got now. Yeah. How's the market? It's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated, <laughs> yes. It's complicated. You need a pro. Kay gets a sticker. <laughs> Did you guys see that Mark commented on that too? Mm -hmm. And he said, "Likes to work." It says robust. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's robust. That's why you need a pro. We're gonna throw that word "crazy" out the door. So, Kristen, if you could go over the app section again, let's for a yeah. couple of our other people. Sure. Well, actually, I guess I need to share my screen first. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a spoon. Okay. So the apps is over here on your left side. And I know a lot of times we talk hustle or we talk, you know, booze. Can I, I stop right there? there? Hold on one second. Yeah. See above the, the apps where it says all favorite core tools, marketing. So you can you, tag your one's favorite that you use all the time and then you don't have to come through all these finding them. Yes. So like right now we have contacts and leads which is part of who's marked as a favorite. So when you click it, it's right there. Um, marketing templates and hustle. And then as soon as you click them, they appear. So it takes no time at all to click over there. And then they have broke down by categories for you as well. Marketing, other, your cores, favorites, and all. So your contacts and leads, that's that bouge piece. That's where you're going to import um, your SOI. You can also go in there to do your newsletter that we've been talking about. 
Um, and there's also a shortcut to your website right here. Remax News, this just has anything going on with Remax, has all your resources. Um, you EDI, what'd you say? Can you click on that once? Mm -hmm. If if you're looking for material, like uh, there's a lot of different databases I scrape for material, but um, this is just a real nice if you don't have something to, that you can populate into your uh, website. So some of the top ones, editor picks. Um, hold on. And then there's even like your Remax versus the industries in here for you. I think Mary pulled that off the other day. Yes. Our site for Facebook. Um, EDR Travel, just a program within Remax if you need to look for hotels or flights. Or if you go to the R4 convention, that's the way you get discounted. Yes. CMN is Children Miracle Network. Um, if you support them, do contributions, you can do that through here. Um, I don't, do they have the recruiting website? No, they won't have these next two. Okay. Um, global referrals, which is just that referrals amongst the global or, you know, everywhere. Your marketing portal. So this is, I'll click on it. This is a lot of your templates. Your logos. Different print radio ads. All that fun stuff. Your ad works, which is your digital advertising. This does cost, but you could, and it's an app as well. And if you subscribe to it, then when your listings in within the Max Center, you tag your listings are automatically boosted for you. Um, motto mortgage. I don't. That's a that, that's a uh, franchise that brokers can buy if it's a mortgage. There you go. Tech news. Um, this just has like any of the updates or anything that's going on on the backside. News resources. It's all in here too. Again, if you're looking for material, you know I need something to get out and post. Um, you won't have that one. URL shortener. This used to be really big when we had KV Core. Um, is there anything that they really use the URL shortener for anymore? The, the URL shortener is great for if you have a property video or something, and when you create content and you want to shorten the name to just the property address or whatever, you can do that with the URL shortener. And you're right. I think that it's something that probably isn't is used as much anymore, but there are, I guess, there are times that if you're creating content and you don't want to be, put a big old strong long link in your message or on your social media, you can take that big old long string of name and shorten it with just a unique identifier that's posted out there. Product support. So this is whenever, um, if you're having an issue with something on your website or in boot, anything, this is where you'll create that ticket to communicate back and forth with them so they can get And this would be you. anything that if your listing isn't populating to somewhere or any kind of issue that's related to Remax, your Remax site, anything within there, that's the person, that's where you want to go first. Yes. And then Office IDX feed, this connects our brokerages to the MLS. But is this, this also, they have? I feel like this is a brokerage or a- It's an, if, if an agent, if you created your own website, some specific website and you wanted the MLS to feed 
to your website, a different website than what the office is doing, you have to get permissions to do that. And that's that IDX feed. It's a whole process that you have to go through. And then this is our luxury. The Remax collection it has the marketing, the advertising, and that is for um, listings that are at a certain dollar amount in that area. Um, but this has a lot of that information for you as well. Your resources. I think to be considered a luxury home, it has to be 25% or there's a, a qualifier higher than the average sale price. Although now that may, be, they may all be mixed together now. Um, and this is all of your marketing, all your information, your advertising, and the information you're going to need resource-wise for commercial with Remax. Your advertising, your social print. So this used to be called Megaphone. You haven't getting too many open up here. It's taking too long. So this is like promoting your listing. When you have those new listings, this is why it's really important for your social media to be connected in your settings, because this is where those listings will go out and you'll be able to see the ad status and all the information on it, like how many times it's been clicked, open, viewed, um, would fall into here. But then this also has an ad, you can promote it. Your digital prints, your marketing, those flyers, they will all be in here. And repeat. Um, so this is another app. This is what they call first. And this is another way for you to keep your contacts, um, that SOI in your phone and then you can set your like reminders to yourself to contact them. It'll come up like as a text message. You can work straight through the app to send messages to them. Just another way to build your database. And that's a paid app, right? Yes, it is. Um, Remax referrals. So this is how you can send referrals through other uh, Remax agents. Remax Marketplace is just uh, approved Remax vendors and suppliers. So if you're looking for like business cards or, you know, one of those Popeyes or something that you're looking for, you can go through here. Um, this is the app for Max Center. I actually have it on my phone. And it just has a lot of the information from here. Um, get your fingertips. Zoom. Uh, Mary, I know this is a free one. I know we didn't know the exact information on it, but I feel like Limited it was the one. How many minutes you can have and how many? Yes. How many minutes you can have and how often you can use it, but it is free if you needed a quick do, uh, meeting. Do, do, it, do any of you guys ever have a need to create a Zoom, to create and use a Zoom on your own? I mean, nowadays with FaceTime and everything else with a client, you probably would do that one on one anyway, but it is available. The learning and education we just went through a second ago. Um, build your business with Remax. So this is a recruiting piece. I don't think yeah, they have one, right? Fine. Okay. So idea portal. So if you have any of those ideas um, that you think something that Remax should be adding, you can submit it in here. You can do your manage your deals, which um, I know I did a class on a couple of weeks ago, but it does link with your booge, but you can just go in, you'll add a deal and then it just walks through. You put your 
you know, the name, which deal name normally is the property address is how I would do it. But if you want to do it by a client's name, you could. Are they a prospect? You know, are they active? Is it pending, closed? Did it fall through? We can keep track of it. You can also put all your dates in here for closings. And then as you get more into it, you can add um, reminders as well in there. So that way it will show up on this dashboard underneath your task. Like if you want a week out to remember to call the lender to see where you're at for loan commitment or maybe two days before your inspection deadline, all those reminders you can put in here. Wouldn't this also be a way to keep in touch with past clients that you've closed for marketing? If you wanted to um, send Maybe when it closes, you could add a task of like three months, six months in a year, reminding you to like reach out to them. Absolutely. So where was that? Uh, manage listings. So this is syncing those listings with your contacts as well as it keeps them in here. So that way, if you want to go back and get any details and it'll link to your bouge piece. So that way, once the deal is closed and you still go back to your, those clients, you're going to have all that information from that listing. Even if it was, you know, they've moved on to the next house, you're still going to have all that information linked to them from their previous houses. So it's just all one place. You don't have to go looking. Campaigns. I think we've done a lot about those. Those are the newsletters that we're trying to get you guys to start sending out, um, drip campaigns, all of those. Your website, and then photo file we went through today. But website's pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is working on your pages and just, you know, quick access. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. So I'm about to send out like 14 real estate reviews. And I was thinking like, what's the best way to keep track of who I've sent those to? Should I do like, is there that manage um, deals or whatever? Is that a good spot or just make my own like personal note in my um, contact? I mean, do you have an idea of how to kind of keep track of all that? I would put it in my spreadsheet, my CRM okay. or some kind. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I mean, you could always create a tag too. So if they're in your contacts, you could add that, you know, tag that says um, market review. And that way, when you send it out, you just add it as a tag so you know who you sent one to and who you haven't. That is a nice thing about Booz. You can tag as many yeah. times as you want. But if you've got it connected to your um, your contacts, then they're, they're, all, they're always going to be tagged that you sent them that. And, Tell us when you sent it, right? Yes. Yeah. You muted, Sarah. I do have that set up through Bouge too, but I didn't realize that would. Okay, I'll have to do it through there. You can do it. If you have another way you want to do it, that's fine. You can just go into your Bouge people and add that tagline. Yes. Is more comfortable Sarah, you might. I mean, obviously, if you have a spreadsheet, that's, that's fantastic. That's that will keep you organized. But the um, if you do have your contacts linked to Bouge, um, it, it's that's another convenient way to look at that. And if you're creating tasks or, or uh, flagging them, um, especially if you're doing something specific like you're doing with the real estate reviews, uh, it's an easy way for you to look at. Okay, I've sent these fifteen out, and then I sent these other fifteen out two weeks later, and and it's. Uh, I think it'd be easy just in your mind to be able to look at that and say, okay, I know where I'm at. And then I'm going to follow much, it gives you a follow-up too. To yeah. I was going to say, as much content as you can dump into this database, it's going to serve you down the future because you're building all your history, your analytics and everything else is coming from the content that you're putting in here. Well, and Mary, let's walk through that a little bit because one, the, the other benefit of putting it in your booth with your contacts is, is you can not only say you sent it out, you can also see if you when, if you actually met with them or if you talked to them or if you texted them or there was a contact made, that will all be there 
so right. that you'll know where you want to go with that contact. That's going to help step. identify your target, right? Your bullseye, <laughs> and your your layers by um, the interaction that you're getting from that that system. Okay. That's a really good question, though, because that the, one of the reasons why we wanted to get into the bouge part of things, especially with your contacts, is, is there's a you can manage. There's so many different ways you can manage that by doing the tags. So it, it does make life a little bit easier, especially if you're, you know, if you're active with your CRM, which you want to be with your contacts. Um, that's a common question. You know, <laughs> I keep track of all the people I'm talking to. And Bush really has kind of thought that part out. You know, it does help you remember by design, not by memory. And, and I think good... that was always the tricky part with people, even when they did keep a good database, whether it's a spreadsheet or whatever, you had it, but you didn't know what to do with it or how to find and peel it off without doing so much work into it. So this is, you're building it as you go and it's going to start feeding down the road everything that you needed to do if you put it in and I well, the identifiers in. Sarah, you're in a great position too because you're building it right now. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like you're having to go back and, and do all that. You, as you're doing it, you're building it. And as you put that information in, it's as good as the information that you put in and that becomes really useful to you. I think they actually have a benefit than an agent that's been in, in the business for years, then they have already been doing, that's an overwhelming task. Like, where do I start? And who do I put in there to get it to, to do what I want it to do? You guys are the, you know, the perfect scenario, right? For building a long-term system that's gonna work for you. Okay, and then if I get in there and I feel like I have questions about the tags, do I contact Kristen? Absolutely, she's our she's our tag guru. Tag girl. <laughs> Is that not good? That I don't know. But yes, Sarah, and if as you're working on it, we could you know we can zoom doing it together. Anything you know, I, I can create a quick one where you share the screen, and I can help you. You know. Okay. Yep. You yeah, I can I, so I added all my contacts and all that that's been done for a while but and I like started dad tags but it was a little I was a little unsure with all that but I'll look at it more and then I'll contact you I'm sure I'll have to ask you a couple questions perfect I do I really like booze in the contacts I I think I've had to play with it enough and I've had to like start over and scratch delete everybody out and restart but I think I got this one down. I might even, you know, be one of those things that like you dream about at night. But we don't need, we don't name, name you the tech girl. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> That's called the crazy girl. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Okay. What about newsletters? Anybody else using newsletters? I've used one. I did one for April. Or was it March? I did it for March. That's one of those things too. I mean, you, you can go as custom as you want to go, or you can go with basically the template. But you know, Sean, I think, has done a really good job because you know he sends out that email. Um, you know, I don't know how much time you spend on that, Sean, but it looks like that it's all yours. You know, everything there is is branded. It's got really cool stuff to that you can use. You know, about things that are going on, and I'm sure you're pulling that different places but um yeah know, I've, got I, I kind of, I've got it kind of narrowed down to it takes me about an hour um okay. because i've like a lot of my branded stuff i've got saved and when you put something in the newsletter it saves it in your remix in max center yeah. and part of your pictures for you so you don't have to keep go finding it each time which makes it really easy and I do, I mean, it's all personalized for me. I, I use very little of what Remax puts out there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was even thinking like, when I was looking at your newsletter, you could even put in there people that you work with, mm -hmm. you know, like if you've got a home inspector that you like, or you've got, 
home warranty, a, a fix it man that you like, all those different things, you can kind of build a, a thing at the bottom there with your branding that it looks like you're kind of in charge of everything, you know, right. because it's your, your newsletter. What I was thinking about that, Sean, is, is that when you do that, then you can send that out to those people that are kind of your people. Uh -huh. And the idea would be is that they're going to send more people your way because right. you're promoting them. So when you're doing something like a newsletter, kind of think globally like that. It's yours. That's a good idea. You're, you're making all these contacts out there. You want to create as many tentacles as you can. And if you've got people you work with and you're yeah. promoting them, and you show them. Most people didn't have to do any of the work either, right? Yeah. Thanks. They've got the benefit of a newsletter that you're giving them. You're going to include them. And they didn't have to do any of the work. And they might just think of you next time when someone because they're running into people. I and you want you want to run into the people that you work with that you know that run into other people. So obviously we're all kind of in the same global world here. But I was just thinking about that, Sean, because yours is so custom, but you could bring your people in and then send that to them, your vendor people, and, and then yeah. all of a sudden you've got another lead source. That's a great idea because I you know, I've built relationships with different vendors and that I use more more than others and yeah. i'm going to definitely do that with my you know right above my pet yeah thing. <laughs> and that just becomes kind of an additional brand of yours you, you yeah. you've got a team of people you work with and here's your brand and then you're ho hopefully going to build referrals back from the vendors sounds good totally off topic but well, it's all about doing business. <laughs> yeah. I have one that's off topic real quick. Does anyone have the name or the contact of a lady who right after I started, she had sent me, I think a text, I couldn't find it, um, about like an order for free, the first thing for free, where you could send your clients a picture of the house that they bought. It was like a drawing, like a super nice drawing. Has anyone gotten those texts or calls? I know somebody that does that, um, that draws pictures of houses just because my daughter had that done when she oh, bought yeah. her house. I think that's a great closing gift, by the way. Yeah, I was thinking about sending my, and I know it's usually to your own client, but um, to the lady who bought my house because she's been like so sweet and so nice. And I thought it would, since it was supposed yeah. to be free for me anyway, I was going to send her it. Well, well you know, the thing, I, the just talking about something like that, Sarah, and, and that, that um, things like that, when you think of like closing gifts and stuff, you want something that they use for a long time. Yeah. You can do that or not. I mean, you can give them a bottle of wine too, but the, the something like that, they're probably going to hang in their house or they're going to yeah. have somewhere and they're going to think who gave that to them. And that's, I think that's why it's, that's such an effective gift. Mm hmm I feel like that sounds almost kind of familiar, like one of the lenders or somebody. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty right sure now. she texted me, but I don't know how she would have got my number, but I don't know. I'll have to go search more for it. Uh, Greg, Greg at Homestead K said he has somebody that does that for, uh, it's a contact. Oh, really? Did you use it, Kay? Uh, yeah, that's good. Well, yeah. yeah. We did it as a closing. Yeah. Were you happy with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was really good. I don't know how much it runs. Well, I think it can vary. I mean, it, those Depending are on the size you want. Yeah. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. If you guys could think of anything else you want us to like go over or, you know, make it a priority we discuss, send me an email, text me, call me. I'll make sure we cover it. Great. Thank you so much. Right. Bye, guys. Thanks, Kristen. Bye. Bye. Thank you.